Hi guys, um, today we're going to look at angles in parallel lines. This is probably quite a tricky topic, so um, do your best to remember these reasons and how to work out missing angles given a certain angle. Okay, So there are four rules with angles in parallel lines and there are certain things that happen which actually help us to work out missing angles. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is vertically opposite angles. So parallel lines are usually represented with little arrows on them. That tells me that they're parallel. And parallel means that they'll never touch. Okay, They'll always keep going in a straight line and they'll never, ch they'll never change the width between them. They'll never cross. Okay, And that means they're parallel. When we are looking for missing angles in parallel lines, there is usually a line that crosses it or crosses the pair. Okay, And that creates lots of little angles going around a certain point. So vertically opposite angles are those angles that are opposite each other where these two lines cross. Okay, So these two angles are vertically opposite. Then I've got another pair of vertically opposite angles, opposite on the other one. And then if we go to the other parallel line, we've got two pairs going on there. We've got a pair here, let's call it A and A. And then we've got a pair here as well, and let's call it B and B. Now, if we get given one of these angles, let's just say, and this is the kind of question that you might get, let's just say that this angle here is 105 degrees. I want to work out what the angle X is. So it's pretty straightforward to do. Because they are opposite each other, and these are two lines that cross, then X equals 105 degrees. And if they wanted you to give a reason as to why it's 105 degrees, your reason would be because vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, okay that's the first one done. The second one is alternate angles are equal. All right, and the what an alternate angle is is if you have a look at my parallel lines, okay, and I've got a line that crosses them, it kind of makes a Z angle, okay, in the way that you possibly look at. Now, if I looked at this angle here and this angle here, and I was to follow this line across, get to the angle, go down, and then get to the angle again and go across, kind of makes a Z. So sometimes they're called Z angles, but don't ever use that as a reason. Okay. So what we have is we have a pair of angles here that are equal, because alternate angles are equal. I also have another pair here and here, on the opposite sides of that intersecting line. So how can we use this? If I were to be given this angle here, let's say that this is 80 degrees and I wanted to work out what X is then I could say that X equals because they're alternate 80 degrees as well and if I had to give a reason I would have to say because alternate angles are equal okay the third rule that we need to know about corresponding angles are equal so we've looked at angles that are opposite each other. We've looked at the angles that make a Z. Okay, this one would be an upside down Z for the A. Corresponding angles kind of make the letter F. Okay, so if we could imagine going down here, drawing our F here, and then drawing our other line here, that kind of makes an F shape. So basically, the two angles that join up to make that are corresponding. Now you get a number of pairs going on here because on the opposite sides of these lines is another angle that is corresponding. Okay. Also on the other side of the, the, the intersecting line you've got two pairs going on as well. You've got one here and one here. Okay. That means these two angles are going to be equals as well. So let's, I've also got them on the other, other side. So let's just say this angle here is 72 degrees. I want to work out what this angle is, x. So I would say because these are corresponding, 
x equals 72 degrees and if I had to write a reason because it asked me to sometimes it does I would say because corresponding angles are equal okay last one now the first three you've just seen all these angles are equal to each other not equal to each other but vertically opposite angles are equal alternate angles are equal and corresponding angles are equal not necessarily equal to each other so this last example is a different one it's called co-interior angles and these make a like C shape in our parallel lines so we could see you can see a C um, you can see a C if you go along this parallel line down the intersecting line and then back across the parallel line so these two angles add up to 180 degrees and they're called co-interior angles so if I were to be given one of these angles let's call this one 103 degrees and I wanted to work out the missing angle X I would have to take 103 away from 180 to find my X value so X equals 180 take off 103 180 take off 103 will leave me 77 degrees. So I could find that missing angle by using this fact. Now we're going to need to try and remember these at some point. Okay, starting now, we're going to need to try and remember these four rules, and that will help us for when we get closer to our GCSEs in year 11. Okay, so it's only four rules. The first one, vertically opposite angles are equal. The second one, alternate angles are equal. The third one, corresponding angles are equal. And the fourth one that's slightly different are the angles that are on the inside of our parallel lines must add up to 180. Okay. Right, have a go at the worksheet and I will speak to you guys soon. Have a great day.